It's very important when performing an abdominal ultrasound examination that you really take care to make sure your patient is as comfortable as possible. It will really help to make your exam process a lot easier. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that the room that you've chosen to perform your examination in, whether that's a dedicated room or a consult room such as this, that you make sure that there's not a lot of traffic going through the, the room while you're performing your exam. Another thing that's important to do is to prepare your patient. This means placing the patient on a really soft surface, whether it's a vet bed such as this or a nice thick towel. That will really help her to stay comfortable. Another thing that you need to do is ensure that you clip a sufficient amount of hair away from the skin itself. This is because air is an enemy of ultrasound. It will really, really cause your image quality to be very poor if the, the coat is very thick or, or there's a lot of, of air trapping there. So what you can do is, is ensure that you clip a, a nice large area. In this case, performing a full ultrasound examination of the abdomen, you want to continue your clip all the way cranially past the ziphy sternum, along the rib cage, and actually halfway up the side of the ribs on the, the lateral side there, and all the way caudally to include the, the urinary bladder. What you also want to do is place a, a good amount of ultrasound gel on the surface of the skin. What can really help also is to allow that to sink in for about five minutes before you actually start your examination. This will allow it to soak into the skin so that the first initial images that you get while performing your examination are as good as they could possibly be. You'll also want to use gel throughout the examination to top up. Um, this is a good first measure. It can help if you, if you warm it up a little bit first too. Now we're ready to start our abdominal ultrasound exam.